Works it out of the defensive 50 as Hill tries to turn Graham inside out. Chance for Marshall. Beaten to it in the end. Rioli got there with strides to spare. Short kick. Not ideal. Martin put under pressure. Got rid of it quickly. Marshall bullets the handball. Filippo to battle towards goal. Umpire shuffles. But not too far at all. Saints get the first two. Thankfully, wow. Mason Wood had a second crack at it. Dylan Grimes intercepted, moved it on to Rioli, who goes to Ross. Wow. At half back, oh, he kicks short to kick. Butler, and Butler receives, kicks, and goes. It was delivered perfectly to the Butler. And Owens has got yeah. it, maybe well. just outside his range. Loads up to the goal square. Max King again. Big launch. I want to grab Max King. How exciting is that? Low, dangerous sort of a ball towards full forward. Out the back. Battle, who's become a goal scorer tonight. Keeps it in. Did well. Handball to Wilkie. He doesn't do quite as well. Dustin Martin, capable. Dangerous spot. Bolton. Paul DePaul needs to run on. Kick the goal. He kicks. And goals. Clear out, clear out. Dustin clear Martin out. was keen for a handball. Butler was up to Martin's antics. Now short. It was a thumping kick of the football. Gets close. Kicks it long. He's in good goal kicking form. What a monster. Nice response from the Tigers. Here come the Saints through Philip Bow, Max King. Got out in front and look at the hands. And he gets in the face of Noah Bolter. Says, have a look at that, Noah. Let it go. Clear out. 10 metres. Jack Ross playing some consistent footing with a tie. And Trent Cochin. Beautiful, strong hands. 300th game. Searching for career goal 139. This is going to bring the house down to the MCG to the punt road end. Trent Cutchins got it. Brook celebrates. They love it. Not a good matchup to watch. Yeah. Noted by his peers as the AFL Players Association, most courageous player. Last year, Blake, a big bomb again. James Short. He is deadly with his second goal. Brilliant to watch those two go head to head. Prestia tracking it. Dumps the kick to Sinar forward. Courageous effort getting back was Marshall. And Dougal Howard in trouble. Trando's pressure outstanding shape bomb. You know he'll kick it, and he does. Tigers have got the lead. Windhager came through. Taranto left with a football. Baker eases it towards Broad. Sidesteps, comes inside. Little handball to Flostone. Now towards half forward. Taranto again. Sinclair lost track of it. Out of the air. Into the hands of Ben Miller. Directly in front. This to make it six for the first turn. Holding. For holding to Wangano Miller. Who wants to get moving straight away. Max Key's got out the back. Flostone's got to be really quick. Max has got it. Releases to Butler. Open goal square. Dan Butler against his old side. Kicks his second. Gets a win back there, kick the first two goals. It's an enthralling contest. The big key to Feather and the gun key for Caminiti from the side. They're going to bounce back and Anthony Caminiti, clever goal, got it off the ground. Movement is better when the ball's around him. Let's see how it is here. Coming in his direction. Out the back it goes. Cameron McIntosh, what sort of a soccer player? The answer's pretty good. Back of the net. He in turn to Flostone. 25 seconds left. Off a fist. Ryan looks to lumber. Doesn't quite have the speed to get there. Howard misses his man. Wanted Webster. This might come unstuck. Bolton around the corner. Puts it in front of Miller. Settles nicely for him. Kicks and goals. The way that you play, it's drilled into you. Every single training session, the Tigers feels like they have adjusted the better yeah. so far. Rewalt couldn't complete the mark. Sinclair dumps it out of there. 
it was pretty well done again from Nick Lossner. Just get it going forward at all costs. And now he carves out a bit of space. And what a goal! Brilliant effort, Nick Lossner. Front spot, Butler. Dropped it to ground. Still wanted Gresham. Couldn't find him. Pressure came crashing through. Butler, clever, out of the air, going back. Mason Wood, but nothing really doing. Suddenly Butler emerges with the football. He's looking for three and has found his third. Very clever little kick. Back to three goals. And the Saints bring it back to two goals here. Out the back a chance. King, not quite clean. Wanted to turn and go on to his left, but left the football behind. Owens wins the handball, knocked towards Gresham. A long wait for King. King has a look at it, almost. Now Higgins tries to work his way through. Has any player got a touch on that? I don't think they have. Lining it up for the kick and then thinking better of it. Marshall went to ground, didn't get the handball away. Crouch to Ross. Ross to a dangerous spot, waiting for it. Burns missed the mark, kicks the goal. Enormous, gonna want the leader Higgins. It bounces, he trapped it really well. Jack Higgins back to King, put a beautiful little step on Max King, and the left foot snaps go way wide. There's a couple for the night from about 49. It's long, but it's wayward. if it's any easier from that seat watching on the players he loves so much Taranto skips through outside of the boot that would be just about it superb finish on a wet and important night 90 seconds to play three needed and Cochin goes up with Floston Wanganeen Miller knocks it back towards the milestone man he tumbles it inside 50 towards his mate Dustin Martin. Still some genius in the old body yet. Not quite for Stocker. Maybe for Bolton. Bolton's capable of just about anything. With the rain pouring at the MCG. He's going to enjoy every second of this. We celebrate Trent Cotchin. The sixth Richmond player to play 300 games, a triple premiership captain, one of the greatest Tigers ever, and a win for him at the MCG. Jack Rewalt, one of the other five 300 gamers in Richmond history. Jack Dyer, Shane Edwards, Francis Burke, the great Kevin Bartley. Trent Cotchin sits very comfortably at the top of the tree in the all-time greats of the Richmond Football Club. And that's beautiful, isn't it? The kids and the family all chaired off as well. We salute the great Trent Cotchin, a modern great of the Richmond Football Club, and he's going to say that every moment of this, as he should, to see the, the love of family and the love of his teammates on display.